Old 37 is a 2015 horror film, or at least it says it's a horror film, starring Kane Hodder and Bill Moseley. Uh, it's otherwise known as Death Call. I think that's the British uh, name for it. It really should have just been called a bunch of dumb cunts bitch for a while, and also there's maybe an ambulance. The movie. This is really more of a I Know You Did Last Summer meets Lifetime original movie type flick with like maybe a pinch of Mean Girls thrown in there. I was really expecting more of a, I guess, Larry Cohen type movie, like maybe an homage to The Ambulance, which in and of itself is has a similar problem to Old 37, but it's it's more pronounced with Old 37. See, The Ambulance, uh, for those that don't know, it's a 1990 film by Larry Cohen, uh, who is a master of schlock. I don't know what you would think of as his most well-known film. I think Q the Winged Serpent is, in my mind, his most well-known film. Uh, he also wrote Cellular, uh, starring Captain America. But anyway, both movies have this problem where they overcomplicate the basic premise, which, based on the cover art, really for both, is, hey, there's an ambulance, and it's run by some evil paramedics, and you go from there. Uh, but instead, they both decide to tack on a bit more plot. Now, in the ambulance, I think it works. It's not perfect, and I think it could have been slimmed down a bit uh, to a more base concept, but it makes sense. It works. It's a good mystery film. With Old 37, you either have this teenage drama that had a horror plot tacked on, or you have this horror film with teenage drama tacked on. Now, the movie was directed by uh, Alan Smithy, so that tells me that whoever directed this probably had a certain artistic goal in mind um, and just didn't like what they ended up producing. Uh, I imagine the producers are actually the ones who had something to do with the problems. Uh, I would assume that they were the ones that decided, hey, we have Bill Mosley and fucking Jason Voorhees. Maybe we should make this more of a gore flick. Uh, I, I can't really see anybody looking at the teen drama plot and saying, oh yeah, you know, that's a money maker. That's what we should do. Yeah, mm-hmm. So I'm willing to bet that's the case. Uh, the director had a very artistic goal in mind and just decided, nope, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I planned. Fuck it. But, uh, pfft. either which way, it turned turns out to be kind of a, kind of a turd, to be honest. It, it's not good. It's not a good film. Not one bit. The thing is, I really didn't have much in the way of expectations for this film going in. The cover looks shitty. Um, I got, I found it on Amazon Prime, which has a whole selection of shitty horror movies with outrageously awful covers. Uh, but it had Kane Hodder, it had Bill Mosley, um... It had Miley Cyrus's sister for a second, I guess. So it had it had Kane Hodder and Bill Mosley, and I was like, okay, well, this should be at least entertaining. Bill Mosley is always entertaining. Uh, Kane Hodder, according to the covers, the killer. He is in the movie. That's great. Um, he's one of the two killers. Other one played by Bill Mosley. That's pretty great. Um, so I thought, okay, well, at very least, it's a schlocky gore fest. It's a slasher film about these evil paramedics in this ambulance. Maybe it's haunted, I don't know, it's old 37, that seems to have certain connotations. Um, that's not what the movie's about. They're in it, and they are evil paramedics, but it's really, it's more of a revenge movie. And it's very sloppy. There's a lot of plots that, there's a lot of plot lines that really go nowhere. Um, to give you an example that really... Uh, kind of sh explains the entire issue to you in one little sentence. There's a, a major subplot about the our main character getting breast augmentation surgery. And that doesn't tie in to the ambulance thing. Like, you think, like, oh, maybe uh, he's talking about, like, something goes wrong and, and she ends up on an ambulance for some fucking stupid reason and, and there's Kane Hodder and Bill Mosley torture her. No, no, it, it, it doesn't play in anything, anything at all. It, it's, it's completely pointless. Which is very frustrating because, again, it's an evil paramedic movie. This shouldn't be hard. Why am I slamming my fist into this thing? J just make a fucking evil paramedic movie. It's not that hard. I remember... Uh, there was that episode of Masters of Horror, 
um, that Larry Cohen actually, I believe, he wrote it. I don't know if he, I think he directed it, but he at least wrote it, I believe. Um, and it's a really fun little, like, hitchhiker, a hitchhiker who kills people who pick him up, and then a guy who kills hitchhikers, uh, they end up fighting, and it's, it's fun. And at the end, spoilers for this Masters of Horror episode, uh, you meet these evil ambulance drivers, which is a direct tie-in to his previous film, The Ambulance. Uh, and that's what I wanted. I wanted that little movie that starts kind of at the end of that Masters of Horror episode. And it's just not what you get. It's, it's not false advertising. In the last, uh, let's say, 20 minutes, it gets a little bit more exciting, and there is more Mosley and Hodder killing people um, and terror, but there's not really a whole lot with the ambulance angle. The ambulance really doesn't play that big of a role. Uh, they have this line that they keep bringing up, don't worry, I'm a paramedic, which is a great line, um, and belongs in a better movie, but it doesn't really amount to much. There is a major turning point for one of the characters involving that line and like some past trauma, but really at the end of the day, it's just kind of fucking stupid. So that's it. Uh, you know, if you want to go check this out on Amazon Prime, uh, it, it's, it's worth watching, I guess, maybe the opening and then the last 15, 20 minutes. But even that, I mean, you can find better Kane Hodder action. You can find better Bill Mosley action. Uh, they both work really hard. Uh, they don't phone this in. They're both great. But the rest of the movie is just a piece of shit. Um, so anyway, uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Michael Keen. Uh, all my other stuff is below on, in the description box thing. Uh, unless this is the far future and YouTube has moved the description box to like the side or like a pop-up or hologram. Side point. Uh, you can follow me on Letterboxd where I post uh, slightly more in-depth reviews sometimes. Or I'm just a dick about it. Um, and, uh, yeah, all the links in the description. Uh, this has been a peanut butter disaster production, and, uh, yeah, rock on. Peanut butter disaster. <laughs>